lady was just asking about, um, she was asking about the Kiskadi. And that was the yellow breasted bird. And um, what was the question you asked, ma'am? Aren't lizards, I mean, aren't the chameleons kind of cool lizards? Are they wild lizards? Oh, okay. Wild right. That was, yeah. Um, when I was a young man, we had uh, chameleon <laughs> lizards everywhere. And we would play with the lizards and stuff like that. Uh, but what happened in the island of Bermuda, remember the big cedar tree, the endemic tree I told you about? Yeah. It's endemic to Bermuda only. Now, you can see it right here. The cedar tree was well utilized. All of these roofs that you have, and I gotta go this way in order to get the, get, to get the point, okay? Uh, all of the roofs that we have, and we call these uh, gable roofs and hip roofs, they have a, a wooden mow, and the wooden mow was cedar. And so the cedar was well utilized. All our roofs, all of our furniture, we produced the schooner and Bermuda out of cedar. And, it, and remember the big stately ones I showed you, they were saturated throughout the island of Bermuda. And somehow somebody int introduced a scale in Bermuda accidentally. And the scale is a set sucking insect and it began to destroy the cedar trees. And within the span of 10 years, most of us cedar got destroyed. Well, at the time, we had an abundance of lizards, and they believed that some of the insects that could help control the scale, that the lizards were eating them up. And so somebody had the bright eye there in the 70s to, to bring this um, uh, bird called the Kiskadi from Jamaica to Bermuda and uh, to help control the, the, the lizards in order to maintain the, the, the blight. But it, it, it never worked out, and all they really did, because when this bird that you saw with the yellow breast came, he became more of a pest. They, they, they annihilated a lot of the lizards, but they caused a lot of problems in the agriculture, and they, and they also caused problems for the, for the resident bluebirds and, and the redbirds. Yeah. And so they did more damage than good when they introduced them to the island. But that was the reason behind it. Okay. So right now we're in another parish and we call this Southampton. Remember I told you this, we come into these parishes and I'll tell you a little bit about the parishes, okay? This is Southampton and we call it Port Royal as a nickname. And uh, just look to the right for a minute and you'll see a public golf course. And we call this golf course Port Royal. Port Royal is a public golf course that was part up to a PGA Grand Slam standard. And so we had the PGA Grand Slam tournament for a period of four years at the, at the Port Royal. And Port Royal is what we call a Robert Trent Jones design. And so Robert Trent, Trent Jones is a renowned designer throughout the world. Yep. Okay, so this is again. He did Royal. five of them in Alabama. Okay, awesome. And, and as we come down here, you, you might want to look. You can, you can look to the, to the entrance and, uh, and you'll see the PGA Grand Slam sign. They had a little problem with water, it's a water truck. So just look to the right. You see the PGA Grand Slam sign. Bobo Watson and all the guys on there. All of the kids are in school right now. And um, in the island of Bermuda, all of the public schools, the children go to school in uniform. And uh, whatever uh, parish you live in, um, then you will go to school in that parish, in the case of Pine, in the parish of Southampton, so the children go to school in that parish of Vivia. In each parish, we have preschools, primary schools, and middle schools. And then we do have high schools, but they're just outside of the city of Hamilton. And we do have private schools, but they're very expensive. Um, for the island of Bermuda, we have a Bermuda College. It's a two-year community college. They specialize in the hotel technology, the hospitality industry. They have a lot of courses in arts and science. And, uh, and at the Bermuda College, you could get a diploma or an associate's degree. But the Bermuda College, two-year two community college, is affiliated with universities in the UK and in Canada. And it's highly accredited that people can go on with their credits and to these universities and get their undergraduates or their masters and so forth. Just basically fathering their education, okay? Mm -hmm. We're in Southampton, and we're on the middle road. And if you look to the left, you can see a road that's running parallel with us. And, um, and that road that's running parallel with us 
um, was once a part of the old train tracks um, for the island of Bermuda. We had a group of entrepreneurs got together in the early um, 1920s and they decided to build a railroad system down from one end of the island to the other. And uh, after the Second World War was over, the train company had a high maintenance cost from all the burr and tur. And uh, sold there, created a lot of rust. And at the time, cars were coming and tarmac was being laid. So they made a business decision and dismounted the railroad system. And they sold everything to the British Guyana for some 80,000 sterling pounds and uh, transform what was once train tracks into what we call railway trails. And so these railway trails today, uh, they use them for walking, jogging, or, or of course even people in some areas, you could ride your push bike and uh, going from one end of the island to the other. And it's very popular for a lot of the, the tourists that come to the island of Bermuda uh, because you can pick up on the, on the railway trails anywhere throughout the island of Bermuda. As we're coming here, if you look to the right high up on the hill, you can see all the houses all sitting high up on the hill. And most of these houses are the, owned by more of the affluent families, the doctors and the lawyers and the politicians and, uh, and the real estate all up on the hill uh, could fluctuate between say three million to about five million, okay? Um, for what we call everyday housing, there could be multi-dwellings, high density, and, uh, and that's in the neighborhoods. Um, and those houses would start at about 800,000, then it goes high as a million pine two, but the two, three, four, five, six, seven apartment houses where multiple families would live. And we're gonna uh, go through part of the neighborhood so that you can see how everyday people live. And, uh, and then we also have uh, for Bermuda, condominiums, they, 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 they start at about a million dollars and then goes high as 4.5 million. But condos, of course, they're marketed towards foreign investment. So the real estate's very high. Um, part of this tour, we're going to take you to an area where a lot of the extreme wealthy lives to. And uh, people like Mayor Bloomberg and Sylvia Berlusconi and so forth. You see some of that also. We're on the South Road, going away to the Lighthouse. And uh, the South Road is where they have the hotels, the guest cottages, and all the beaches. If you just pause for a moment to the right, this is the most popular um, beach for snorkeling. If you love to snorkel, this is where everybody snorkels to. And we call it Church Bay. Uh, with the sun shining all out, it's difficult to see. But it's a very popular area for snorkeling. And uh, we'll probably get a better glimpse at it as we come back. So when we come back, we're gonna come back on this side and you'll be able to get a better glimpse. But you can't see the beach because the beach is way down in the corner here. Yeah. All of the beaches in Bermuda you have access that you can come right in and go right down to the beach you can see right here we have access to come into the bar so we're on our way up to the lighthouse uh, as we come in here we're in Southampton this is again fundamental parish church we call it St. Anne's St. Anne's was built in the 1600s and all the doors here that's made out of that Bermuda cedar that we talked about. And here you can really see what the cedar looks like as you look along here and look at the beautiful cedar door just right there. So cedar's real beautiful. And now you can really see what the Shaft Cem Cemetery Parks really look like. right these are the Bermuda bananas you can see them right here um, bananas take banana trees take 18 months to produce a harvest 
and you only get one harvest from a banana tree, but you gather other banana trees. And when it reaches its maturity, we harvest it and you chop the tree down and other trees keep growing and reproducing in the same cycle process. Um, if you look here, you can see papaya tree. See the papaya on the tree just to the right. You have one starting to get ripe and that's a papaya. Um, and the island of Bermuda, if you leave that papayas on the tree, you can see one starting to turn yellow. Of course, it will turn into a fruit and the papaya is very nice to eat uh, as a fruit. But for us, we use it more as a vegetable, okay? And so uh, what we do is, if we're making soup, we pick the papayas when they're green, wash them off, cut them all up, and put the, put the skin and the pulp all in the, in the pot of soup. Or we would peel the skin off and clean the pulp out and cut it up with other vegetables. But we also have a traditional dish in the island of Bermuda that we call baked papo casserole. And baked papo casserole is like having a scalloped potato dish, but instead of using um, papaya, you're having scallop. I mean, instead of having scallop potato, you're having papaya. But it's a very nice dish. Okay, so we call it baked papo casserole. We're taking you up to the lighthouse, but what we're doing, we're gonna go to the left just for a few minutes so that you can get a couple of nice pictures um, of the lighthouse, then we keep, we're going up to it, okay? Now, bear, bear in mind, anything we see here, we're gonna see it better when we get to the lighthouse, okay? So, Finally coming around to uh, go up and get some pictures. If you're familiar with any of the seasons, we have even some of the wild herbs and you can see just to your right right here, you, you might be familiar with this. And these, these herbs seasonings uh, grow all over the island of Bermuda. You might want to smell it and just pass it back. But most people would know it. Anybody know what this is? Basil? It's, no, it's close to the time. No. Uh, get yourself a nice picture there after the light up. Can anyone guess before I tell you? <laughs> I say oregano. Yeah, close. Close. Everybody got a good picture of the lighthouse? That's rosemary. Uh, <laughs> like rosemary, it. rosemary grows all over the island of Bermuda, and it's wild. And so most people, most people would go outside the yards and pick the rosemary. But they did, they did just uh, introduce the law for the, the medical marijuana. Yeah? Yeah. Just, um, My head's gonna hurt. Just, <laughs> <laughs> so they, they, they just passed that law. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. We're gonna get you up to the lighthouse. <laughs> get you high up, okay? Yes. <laughs> Gonna get high Alabama would be one of the last. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and they need it the most. 